So hello everyone. Uh, in last session, we talked about the uh, basic concepts in Q. We have seen that Q is a linear data structure, which is nothing but or which follows the uh, first in first out concept. Okay. So the element which is inserted first in the Q will be the first to be removed or deleted. Right. So today we are going to talk about the implementation of Q. in c programming language right so for that purpose uh, i am using turbo c uh, with dos box on windows uh, 64 bit operating system okay so i have already created a file name q.c uh, in this we are going to write a logic for uh, implementing a q in c now uh, when we talk about q what different operations we have with respect to q in q dq then we have uh, displaying all the elements and then we have exit okay so these are the uh, operations that we are going to focus on okay now uh, let's begin we will begin with uh, declaring the header files so include stdio.h now why i am declaring these header files uh, because uh, i am using turbo okay Uh, if you are using any online compilers you may have to use uh, if you are using uh, let's say linux platform uh, no need to declare the header files okay because we do not use clr scr in that case is kunio use karne ki zarurat nahi hai okay now i am declaring hash define and file so this file is nothing but a global variable and is the global variable we know that program execution starts from white main okay now Uh, we have to write program for implementation of q so we will be declaring one variable as int q and its size will be equal to n and we have already defined n is 5 okay then we need to accept choice from user that what he wants to do whether he wants to do uh, insert delete display all the elements or exit okay so initially we are declaring its why its uh, value as 1 why 1 i will explain okay then we have two important uh, end to the queue front and rear okay and initially all these two variables are declared with value equal to 0 front and rear both are equal to 0 okay now after this we need some uh, counter variables i j okay and j i am declaring equal to 1 and one more variable i am declaring x which is equal to n i need that at some places so that's why i declare them then i will explain you okay so these are nothing but some of the variables that i need then after that you know the meaning of clr scr okay uh, then after i am printing the message to the user that this is a program for q using array and then i am asking user to please enter the choice from 1 insert 2 delete 3 display and 4 exit now user is going to give the choice whether i am going to ask user to please enter the choice only once one choice is given one input second choice is given user may give again insert one more value again insert one more value that means this task i have to do again and again repeatedly okay whether we know when to stop we know when to stop we know when to stop no we don't know when to stop we don't know when user will press four right when user want to stop we don't know so because of that i have declared ch as equal to one and that is what i am going to use in while loop so i am going to use here while ch ch value is one while one that is mean by always true any non zero number is always true in ch in while condition theek okay? hai now i have given ch to the while and in while i will begin with accepting the choice from user okay so i will ask user to please enter the choice so user will give the choice okay now what choices user will give tell me user will give choice as 1 2 3 4 when we have to select one out of many what we go for switch case we go for switch case so we will go for switch case we will ask user 
to enter the choice choice is given switch keys okay now what will be the case one or case initial case will be one case one now what is mean by case one insert now to insert element in the queue what we need to check whether queue is full whether queue is full okay now queue is full or not how to get it very good when the value of rare is becoming equal to n minus 1 okay so that is what we need to check so we will check here if rare is equal to equal to x now why i am declaring equal to equal to x because i have initialized the front end rare with zero i have initialized front end rare with zero if we initialize them with minus 1 in that case we have to compare rare with x minus 1 is this clear okay so if rare and x that is n both are same what it means what it means stack is or queue is sorry queue is full so queue is full now when queue is full we can't insert but when it is else what it means queue is not full then we are going to ask user to please enter a number to insert into the queue so we will ask user print f enter number okay and in scan f we will ask user to uh, in scan f we will uh, put that number at rare location so what is rare location zero now what is mean by rare plus plus in square bracket queue of rare plus plus it meaning is that its meaning is that use first then increment so rare zero value will be used first and then it will be incremented it is same like saying address of q rare and after that next statement is rare is equal to rare plus 1 are you getting this so two statements are combined two statements are combined okay so here we have Scan your percent D address of Q rare plus plus. So rare plus plus means use zero first and then make it one. Okay, is this clear to everyone? Okay, so that is our case one. Once the case one is done, we are going to do break. Okay, now if user use case two, that means what? That means what? Deletion. So in case of deletion, what we need to check? I want to check. stack is empty or not so to check stack is empty what is the condition very good front end rate should be same so if front end rate are same it means that my queue is empty so here i will display the message print f queue is empty queue is empty okay now if it is not like that then we will go in else part that means what my front and rear are not same now to which end we insert a new element sorry to from which end we delete the element front or rear front so what we will be doing very simple print f deleted element is and that deleted element is q of front very good and then plus plus Front is zero. Zero the element is deleted. Then it should be one. So it should be incremented by one, right? Decrease will come nine. It should be increased by one. So front plus plus. Is this clear? Front initial value zero will be used, and then that value will be incremented by one. So that is meaning of front plus plus. Is this clear? Q plus plus. Upon so rare plus plus upper line. So any front plus plus they are same. Okay. Now let's. proceed for okay so now uh, front plus plus okay x plus plus theek hai let's talk about the next break statement is there okay now uh, let me see okay okay so x plus plus is doesn't go it's not going to make any sense here okay then after that case number 3 what is case number 3 displaying all elements 
displaying all elements so from which location we have to display all elements from front to rear we have to display all the elements that is from front to rear front is zero initially if we have inserted four elements then zero one two three these are nothing but the rare number okay so after inserting value at three we are increasing the value of rare by one so rare is going to become four rare is going to become four right okay now when rare is going to become four that means our numbers are available at zero one two three right so when we are going to use loop for displaying all the values from front to rear what should be our condition i is equal to front and i should be less than rear or equal to rear less than why less than because at rear location we don't have any element we have element one less than the rear rear is what pointing to next free slot right so we don't want to print free slot element right we want to print one less than rare element is this clear okay so that's why what we need see here if front equal to equal to rare this is same if uh, my queue is empty okay before displaying we need to check this and if it is okay everything is okay then we need to use for loop where i is equal to front i is less than rare is that clear and then i plus plus just simply print the element from rare location that is i okay so till rare location from front to rare so i will have value for uh, for let's say uh, whatever print value is initially it is 0 then it will go to 1 2 and 3 assuming that rare value is 4 is this clear okay once that is done once that is done we will print a new line character and we will stop here break this is break for case number 3 and final case is 4 which is nothing but exit so when user gives choice as 4 that means user want to stop okay and then default if user is not giving 1 2 3 4 user is giving for you so what message we have to give to the user wrong choice please see the proper options options kay ahe te need baga ekda ani tya anusar choices there theek hai so that message we will give to the user then we will close switch case and our program is over here i hope everyone knows the uh, purpose of gate ch here okay to bring the screen in front of us that's it okay gate character fine now we will run this program okay so we will test the program control f9 everything is okay i said yes so enter the choice now what choice to give insertion before that let's give the deletion two choice two currently my queue is empty so it should display that message to me queue is empty enter the choice now i am giving choice as one so enter number one i gave 11 now i am giving choice as three so 11 should get displayed so i am giving choice three and queue elements are only one that is 11 okay now enter the choice i am giving choice as 2 so deleted element is 11 i am again giving choice as 2 q is empty now i am going to give choice 1 five times okay so choice 1 11 choice 1 12 choice 1 13 choice 1 14 choice One, fifteen, choice one. Okay, so eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Q is full. Enter the choice. Q is full. Enter the choice. Now I am giving for deletion. Let's say display three. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. ठीक है? All elements are displayed. Choice three. Now deletion. We will go for deletion. Choice two. So deleted element is eleven. Choice two, deleted element is twelve. I am giving choice three. So elements are thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Is this clear? Again, now I am giving choice two, choice two, choice two. All elements are deleted. Again, I am giving choice two. Message should be Q is empty. 
Is this clear? Now I am giving choice as 4. Program is stopped. Is this program clear to everyone?